Hello everybody. I guess it rained early this morning. I think I heard thunder. Kind of. I was half asleep. And then when I, the first time I woke up this morning, the deck was wet, so I guess it rained. I guess it rained a little, <clears throat> but now there sure isn't any rain. And the humidity is back. It's not hot yet, but it's supposed to be really, really hot tomorrow and the next day, so gross. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> as soon as I said that, I knew you would say that. I'm doing all right. Got a little bit of wood cut up yesterday, not much. But. Yeah. Here we have a big wood mountain again. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing in a way, you know. Yeah. I just got to get off my lazy rear end and actually start stacking. Yeah. And get the rest of that slab wood cut up. Yep. But maybe if we cut the wood up, I gotta have. I should have on a pair of pants. Well, yeah. When I cut that out, you know, just for slightly more safety reasons, but the pants ain't gonna protect me too much. Yeah, but. But it's better than having none on at all. Yeah. So I tried one last ditch effort of to try to get those tickets that we supposedly won. I was on there looking around on their Facebook under Don's account because I don't have a Facebook anymore. But under the reviews where people made complaints about whatever the hell, they responded and gave an email address and they said it was for the president, Chris Shepler, telling people to contact him. So I emailed that address and I explained to him everything that was going on. And I told him that we were going to bring our bikes, which would have been a $22 profit for them. So maybe money will make him make those people get off their ass a little. I don't know. But I see they ran another giveaway just like it on June 4th, and it said this one guy won. So I left a comment on there asking the guy, did you ever get these tickets? Because I don't know. Uh, I sent them a message yesterday on Instagram. It was ignored. I made a comment today on their latest photo they put on Instagram. It was ignored. I uh, sent them another message. It was ignored. So far, that comment that I've left, that I left on Facebook, was it has been ignored, and that is, it was a post of theirs, so they got a notification saying that that comment was made. So, no reason not to answer it. So if I don't hear from the president, then forget it. We're not going. And I hope my suspicions are not right, that all these giveaways that I've been seeing for years are just fake that all they want people to do is uh, tag them all over social media, tricking people into tagging them to spread their, spread their name all around, which I don't know why they would need to do that, because they're the number one most popular ferry service to Mackinac Island. Uh, when you drive into Mackinac City, you can't miss their humongous gate sign signage stuff. It's not like they have nothing but a little tiny sign on the side of the road. They have radio ads, they have TV ads, they have billboards all over I-75 and all over US-23 on the way up to Mackinac City and US-131 on the other side up to Mackinac City and uh, they're all over social media. They had they have 58,000 likes on Facebook. Uh, I, I said that already, radio and TV ads, I think. Oh, and their brochures. They have brochures all over in all the stores, all over the place. Even in the stores here in Onaway. So I don't see why they would need to use people just to get their name, their word, you know, their name spread around on Facebook. They have enough of a presence already. So I don't know what's going on here. If they really did actually just forget that, then that's fine. But they need to make it right and they need to stop ignoring me. Because they should have been here a long time ago. So, I don't know. I'm pretty much giving up on it. I have to learn not to get my hopes up about things because it always comes crashing down. Hello everybody. Now it's day two. 
I wasn't in the best of moods yesterday, so I didn't think it was a good idea to keep filming because negativity sucks. But <clears throat> I guess it rained a little bit overnight, and now it's humid. It's supposed to get really, really hot. It's not too bad yet, but it's going to be. And I'm just making some lunch, which is some potatoes and eggs. And uh, Don went to Dave's. So there isn't a whole lot going on yet, but we'll see what ends up happening today. So I see my hummingbird feeder is completely empty, so I have to make some more stuff and refill that. It's four parts water to one part sugar. I usually use four cups of water and one cup of sugar. And you, despite popular belief, and they only say that because they want to sell that crap, you do not need hummingbird food that is dyed red. If your hummingbird feeder has red, that's enough red. You don't need to go into Walmart or wherever and pay a big high price for sugar water with red food coloring in it. You can make your own. So this is four cups of water, but this is one cup of sugar. And you boil it, and you stir it. I mean, you don't have to stir it constantly, just every little while. And you only boil, basically you only need to let it start to boil, and by then the sugar is dissolved enough. And then you take it off the heat, and leave it sit there and cool. Because, especially if you have a plastic hummingbird feeder like I do, and you pour boiling water in there, you're going to melt it and wreck it. And you don't want to burn the hummingbird's little tongues either. But before I put the water in, I'm going to wash this all up, take it all apart and wash it. And this is too much to fit in my feeder, and it probably will be for anybody else too. So you can put it in a jar with a lid on it, or a bowl with a lid on it, or whatever, the leftovers, and save it. And that's it. And like I said, see it's almost already dissolved. But like I said, you do not need red colored hummingbird food, as they call it from the store. That's just a money making scheme and I've actually heard that sometimes that red dye can make hummingbirds sick. So you need to just use sugar water because if you have a hummingbird feeder with red on it you don't need it, the, that liquid to be red anyway so there you go now you know how to feed hummingbirds if you even have a feeder so Don is playing a Walking Dead game on the PS3 with his friends they're here there they are Malcolm and Ethan Cute rats. Cute little rats. Well, not that little. They're pretty big. Probably weigh about two pounds. Don't die. And dinner is pork and fried potatoes. Yum. You're dead. Yeah. And I better catch Gizzard's big orange butt while I can. Cause he'll run back outside when he's done eating. Good time, my kitty. Yeah. And there's Tug. Always outside with a silly look on his face. Hi, Tug. What's up? And then Evie's under the porch. She won't stop barking today. So we don't like that. You loud mouth. Loud mouth. Yeah. 
Just a car going by. No need to bark. Don't bark. No bark. You don't listen. So today my mom gave me her credit information so that I could do it for her. And she had me order her a new iPhone 6 Plus. Well, it's refurbished, but uh, it, it'll be new to her from Walmart.com and a good case for it, which I uh, ordered her the same kind of case I have on my iPhone 10 because it's durable and it has grip grips on it so you don't drop the phone so easy. And she's with TrackPhone, so I talked to TrackPhone and they said that she needs a bring your own phone sim card package thing which only costs a dollar five after tax so i i ordered that for her because i had over on my old credit union account from alpina i had a dollar twenty on there because every month they deposit fifty cents into my account because i have paperless, paperless credit union statements it's like a reward and I had a little bit of that built up, so I went ahead and just ordered that for her. And everything is going to come here except the case. I had the case sent to the Sheboygan Walmart for pickup, because that way there's free shipping. There was free shipping on the phone, and no, free shipping on the SD card from TrackPhone. But they wanted, uh, it was like almost 8 bucks in shipping for the case to have it sent here to the house, which is stupid. So I saved my money, and I had it sent to the right to the Walmart store. And on Wednesday, when it's supposed to be there, we'll, we will just go get it. And then the phone is supposed to be here on Thursday. So I'll set it all up for her. And then when the SD card comes, I'm not sure when that's going to come, we'll get her service transferred, and then she'll be all set. She'll be a little more modern than she was, because all she had before was an iPhone 4. So the battery dies on it real fast and the screen is real tiny and she doesn't like that one too much I think she'll be happier with this one but anyway the cats are running around here by this tree what are you guys doing? what are you doing? you gonna climb? Up, up, nope. And then you're just laying in the grass. So I don't know what time it is, like 8 o'clock, maybe almost 8 o'clock. So I have to go ahead and finish this vlog and get it uploading so I don't have to sit up half the night waiting for it to export. Uh, seems like the exporting on my laptop is slower and slower every day. But anyway, uh, Don's still in there playing his Walking Dead. So I'm going to say good night, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. And all the animals say good night, and Don would say good morning if he wasn't addicted to that game, which is kind of funny. I've only seen him ever play two video games ever. Skyrim, and now this Walking Dead game. But both times he became he becomes completely addicted. But that's alright. At least he plays some video games and doesn't hate it completely. But we'll see you tomorrow.